I have philosophy in, in my life for art. Uh, this message very important for anyone. My art, my message for the life and for the future. Art uh, make you brave, make you healthy, make you active for your life, make a future for you. This is my message for the life. Uh, the war happened a big uh, problem in Iraq, especially in my country in Mosul, and I feel my life is very dangerous. I move from from Iraq to Jordan and from Jordan to United States. In Iraq, it is very hard to make money from my art because the wars don't let anyone do anything. Hard, hard life. Here, my life has changed. Uh, now I feel I am in the peace and love and the quiet. I, and here, especially in Beaverton, nice people and uh, safety, that make me happy. I have a special style to start in, in the canvas. I start to make my colors, Akram colors. And after them, start to make the subject. The color, reflection of my spirit. If I am happy, my colors, happy colors. When I am sad, you can, the colors change to sad colors. Dark color and uh, contrast. And when I am happy, reflection, my spirit in, in my art, you can feel this is happy colors. 24 hours my life with art. I am busy with my paintings. I have many hundred now. <laughs> I like I like this world. This just the music and and uh, my uh, painting. Outside is very. I don't like this outside because problem and wars. Yeah, here the safety. This is the, the peace and love with my art. Color has energy. Most of my my painting are colorful, and I think all people have problem, but their their story is different. I want to give them the something good, feeling good, calm, energy something positive. Everyone in the world heard something about Iran, they are very strict about people, uh, especially f uh, with women. All things are very limited in, in there, and we, we don't have any freedom in, in our country. Yeah, when the officer from the U.S. Uh, said to me, you, um, uh, you accepted as a refugee for, for the U.S., I was very excited, very excited, and I, uh, uh, I appreciate from the U.S. that because you survived me. I started painting uh, when I was very young, but when I uh, when I married, I forget all things that I I liked. When I was in detention in Nauru for four years, I had a lot free time. I started again painting because painting is my passion. And I started painting just with pencil and pen because I, I didn't have any uh, supply. I think it has a message to you. It can be um, effect to your mind. 
my message with my painting is be strong and positive energy if we want anything we can achieve that i think abstract it's different with another style i think in your mind you have something more than your around and abstract something like that it's your mind not real I emphasize process. I think the final result, it, it reflects our natural neurobiological processes that take place in our brain. Even if person or group were not connected directly to arts before, they would right now. So this is one of the ways to establish relationship and one of the ways to enhance identity, that loss identity, which needs to be reaffirmed. So my family had experienced a lot of oppression. Uh, my mother was an active uh, protester against uh, Soviet regime. So that definitely contributed to um, uh, my way that I was interacted with the Soviet reality. I'm Jewish. I left from Soviet Union 33 years ago. I mostly speak English. I hardly have, I have very far relatives left in Kiev. And when the bomb started to fall, I really felt like they were feeling, they were falling. Like I, I really felt there was attack, personal attack. That was invasion of my personal space and my life. And they were falling right here. And like I had to examine myself. I was um, kind of surprised of how deeply this, uh, I was disturbed by all of that. And I recognized that it's that identity piece. I have came back to a lot of traditional Ukrainian arts, you know, Ukrainian traditional painting styles that definitely express themselves as my, in my recent artwork. I go from this fluid to uh, controlled media and I combine those two medias in one um, piece of artwork and so I think like just to follow this process and to understand um, how that happens really is probably the most interesting way that I could express myself because I still even now have inhibition about um, being understood fully. And I think that some um, immigration experience uh, did have a lot to do with that, because um, sometimes I, you know, over-explain things or speak very loudly, because I still feel that uh, people might not get me. But um, if you look at my paintings or pictures, you probably do. Uh, you will get. Uh, what I was experiencing or thinking. You don't expect yourself and you, you are in a way without any decision and something is pushing you. Some power is pushing you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And you are 100% sure that at this journey you will reach your goal. I just decided to leave my house at 10 o'clock in the morning without nothing. But for me, I, I don't know. It was just energy for me and for my daughters that it was just pushing us forward. Okay, go ahead, go ahead.
had our uh, own house. I was working, I was studying. My kids, they had uh, their daily routine, uh, school, uh, yeah, life. We had a normal life in Afghanistan. You never cannot imagine that this normal life will end in just maybe one week or maybe less than one week, one day. I remember that it was August 2021 that the Taliban came to Afghanistan. Everything suddenly changed in a week. If I stay at the country with my two daughters, then it's very difficult for me to leave the country. At that time, my mind wasn't working. What should I do? What should I take? What should I do? The only thing uh, which I uh, talked with myself was um, a pair of extra clothes for my daughters. No money, no educational document, no certificates, uh, just with uh, one clothes we have. There were thousands of people who were trying to leave the country and it was very difficult. Sometimes there was lack of oxygen for my daughter, for my little one, because there were too many people. And I had to just uh, take, uh, take her uh, up and tell her, okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. It was horrible. It's a mixed feeling of happiness, cry, um, shock, stress, everything together. And you are happy uh, for yourself and your children that at least you could save them. And you feel very deep sorry for the people who are behind you in Afghanistan. Every morning when I open my eyes for two or three se seconds, I didn't believe that I'm here. I'm safe. I'm in the United States. I'm in a house. There is no explosion. There is no fire. For two or three seconds, I was just thinking with myself, am I dreaming? It was a very good days for me because every day I was learning how to live here, especially the host family, Wendy. She was, she was helping us a lot for every step, shopping, library, school, everything, everything that you need to learn how uh, for living in the United States, she was teaching us. Everything needs time. If you try hard, you can make everything. It doesn't matter for me what's the future. I'm sure that my kids are safe here. <laughs>